Happy Thursday! We are super excited. Why? Because life is freaking awesome. Life is amazing. You should always be excited. Always something to be happy about, always something to be excited about. Right, Bobo? Our dogs are stinky. Let's go fix that. Stinky. You ready to go? Come on, let's go. Hey, let's go. Hey. <laughs> what are you going? <laughs> what are you doing? Give me the fortune. Fortune. Sit. 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 Good girl. Stay. Okay, we're going to go. She's so excited. What's going on with you, huh? What's going on with you? You want to go too? You ready to go too? You ready to go? Free car wash day. All right. Get back. Go. Hey, get back. Get the back. Come on. Back. Back. Come on. Get back. No, don't jump on me. This car is not big enough for three dogs and two humans. Backseat, come on. Go. Back. The chaos here at home. See the calm one? That's the calm one. The weather report today is cloudy with a chance of meatballs. All right, so last night we went to bed around 1 a.m., 2 a.m. And surprisingly, I slept for like nine hours, which is very rare. So I feel very well rested, completely rejuvenated. I feel great. Woke up super late, um, this morning got some work done, and that's it so far. Now we got the dogs in the car. See, that, was, <laughs> that was gross. My dog just burped right in my face, like a loud human burp. That was kind of gross. I think it was a fart. No, it was a burp, it wasn't a fart. All right, whoa, everything is different now, look at that. So we haven't been in Huntington Beach for a month, and they're, they've been building a bunch of new property, and a lot of cool stuff. It looks different around here. <laughs> So if you ever come to Huntington Beach, this is on the way to Main Street, which takes you all the way to downtown. Really cool spot to be in Huntington Beach. So this dog Ratchet here gets a little car sick. He always gets like nervous, shaky when he's in the car. His heart's beating really fast. We don't know why, but he always does that when he's in the car. Doesn't like the car. This dog on the other hand, loves being in the car. I'm surrounded by dogs, help! <laughs> Let's go. Come on. We are here. A dirty dog wash. She said, I'm cute, but not to me, to the dog. <laughs> to the dog. <laughs> Check out this place. They got these old school bathtubs. Did you All right, Ratchet doesn't like baths. We got the aprons on. It's about to go down. Look at this crybaby right here. <laughs> He's fearing for his life. Check this out, you guys don't know this, but my dog is obsessed with water. <laughs> Stop it. I'm trying to wash you, Fortune. Stop! Stop! She's very happy right now. What can you do like that? What can you do like that?
Check out how Ratch is doing. He's growling. Smile, baby. Look at her leg. <laughs> what are you doing, Fortune? What are you doing? <laughs> I love my dog. Rinsing time. Wait. Come on, stop. Let me let me wash you. Stop. Fortune, move. Hey, stop. Stop. Fortune, stop. Stop it. Let me give you a bath. Dang it, Fortune. All right. Conditioner. House. Leave-in conditioner. Conditioner. Shake, go ahead. Ah! Towel time! Last but not least, leave in conditioner. Blow dry time. Hey girl, up, up. One down, two to go. We got the crybaby turn. <laughs> Thank you. See you guys later. I was walking out and I felt a little weird because I had this on. <laughs> Almost stole the apron. Three dirty dogs. Now three clean dogs. Clean dogs are happy dogs. Mmm, smells so nice. Look at Cholo in the back. Cholo! <laughs> Alright, check this out. This is really cool. I just got home and checked my mail. And they told me it was only going to take three weeks to get here. But, man, it, it was like four or five days ago when I got certified as a diver. I got a temporary dive card and I expressed my excitement when I got it. It was like getting my driver's license for the first time. I officially got my permanent dive car. Check it out. Boom. There it is. Open water diver. Certified in Koh Lanta Krabi, Thailand. Freaking awesome. I'm so excited. I can't wait to use that card again. Going to look for some diving trips here in California, Southern California. If anyone's a diver and wants to dive, let me know. Look at Lily working with all the dogs next to her. This is what we do at home. We work from home. This guy thinks he's a cat sometimes. Look at him, curled up. All right, it's time to go grab some dinner. I think we're craving pizza. MOD Pizza. MOD stands for Made on Delivery. This place is freaking awesome. Let's go check it out. So this place has all these like fresh ingredients. We got gluten-free crust. And they got a stone oven right there. Freaking awesome. So you pick your sauces first. You want cheese, then your meats. Right? And all these cool ingredients. Alright. Let's go make a pizza. Here's a quick update on the pizza situation. Yeah. There you go. Uh, my favorite part, the veggies, which are put away. Mushrooms, green peppers, red peppers, red onion, lots of red onion. Give me stinky breath, please. Black olives, a lot of the Mama Little's sweet hot peppers, jalapenos, Pineapple and roasted asparagus and then the spices and other toppings. Let me get um, rosemary Oregano roasted garlic. Yeah In case you didn't know I love garlic and onions. Here's the update Look at that Why does asparagus make your pee really yellow?
So why does asparagus make you pee yellow? I don't know. Why does asparagus make you pee yellow? Remember that one time in Elf when the guy was like, okay, let's make a story about asparagus. I'm self-conscious about the way the pee smells. So maybe it's like the asparagus peeing into the person who is eating it. That's why it smells weird. Like, that's, that's actually a pretty decent answer. Like, Thank what you. If, yeah. Good answer. <laughs> That's where the pizza goes. Here's all our sauces. Wow. Sri Rancha. Balsamic Physic Aid. That's so cool. All right, here's the moment of truth. Oh yeah, look at that. So here's the finished product. That's mine. And that's Lily, she's already digging in. Yummy? Yes. So if you've never had a pizza with a lemon wedge, make sure you try one. Especially if you love lime or lemon. When you put it in the middle of the pizza and it bakes, it just oozes out all the lemon juice and lime juice and makes the whole pizza infused with lemon. It's so good. This is so flavorful. It's so good. Thank you guys. Day, guys. See you later. MOD rocks. That was a lot of pizza. We still have a whole pizza under there. We just got home. It's about 9.30 p.m. And I'm about to get to work right now. now. Some of you might be thinking, working right now? Yes. My favorite hours to work is actually the late night hours between 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. I call it the super late night shift. It gives me a really cool feeling to know that while most of the world is relaxing and sleeping, it's my time to actually be hustling and grinding and working my face off. So I know a lot of entrepreneurs out there do the same thing. It's a lot better work at night, late night, in my opinion, because it's super quiet, there's less distractions, and I feel like I can get a lot more work done. Except for this little guy when he's distracting me. But that's it, I'm gonna call this vlog over. See you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna work until my face hits the keyboard. Bye, Badger, say bye-bye, this vlog is over. This vlog is over.